Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. Today, I kind of want to talk about this shoe. I don't know if anybody's actually down for them, but Jordan Brand has been doing what they're calling the Tinker Series, bringing back old design sketches as actual sneakers. They started it off with the Air Jordan 3. I was not a fan of those when I first saw them. They looked really weird to me with that swoosh on there. The more that I saw them, obviously, like you kind of like warm up to things. That's, that's just how things are. Like the more that you see them, the more normal it starts to look. But it was this particular shoe, the Air Jordan 13 concept, you know what I mean? Where like, I'm, I mean, I've seen this concept sketch many times. I have it in books and magazines and all that stuff. So to me, it was nothing new, but seeing the shoe in actual shoe form, like really built as a sneaker, I was like, yo, what? So that's exactly what we're talking about today. I don't know, it was one of those things where I normally wouldn't even make a video about these because they're not really a performance shoe. At least that's kind of what I want to talk about. Are they a performance shoe? Because they were back then. You could still play in the 13s now. The 13s are an awesome sneaker. So is this Air Jordan 13 tinker or you know, initial draft, rough draft, initial design, I don't know what the hell to call them. But are these gonna be playable? I mean, they look weird and cool at the same time. I say this all the time, but colorways really make or break a shoe, and I'm like dead ass serious when I say this. Because these first two colorways, one of which is just a simple black cat colorway, the other one is just a simple white and black colorway. To me, honestly, like, if you're just gonna ask me straight up, they look like ass. Like, I just don't like either of them. I don't like all black shoes. The white ones just look funny to me. It looks like a weird trunner or trainer that should have came out back in the 90s and they decided to go with the original trunner and all that stuff instead. But, and this is a big but, not quite Kim Kardashian big, but you know, along those lines. Then this black and red colorway came out, which is pretty much the actual design sketch and colorway brought to life. And like I said, colorways make or break a shoe and call me a sucker for black and red Jordans, especially the 13s. But as soon as I saw them in that colorway, man, I was like, yo, I don't know now. Like I'm kind of feeling those, like those look pretty fresh. As I'm looking at them right at this second on the computer screen over here, I, I don't know if I can actually like picture MJ wearing them. That's the thing that I think is so weird about this Tinker series is just that like we have, you know, memories and images and footage and highlight clips and reels and posters and stuff like that of Jordan wearing what we know as the Air Jordan, whatever number it is, one through whatever. This shoe though, like it's not anything like I've never seen, you know, obviously him wearing wearing it before and I just can't imagine him wearing it instead of the Air Jordan 13s. Like, could you imagine in the playoffs him wearing this shoe instead of the actual 13? I know I can't. They just don't look like the Air Jordan to me. It's that strap. That strap looks super weird. Jordans don't need straps. You know what I mean? Lace locks? We could do that, but straps, Jordans don't need that. Not the flagship Jordan, at least. The team models, the trunners, the runners, the trainers, stuff like that, put straps on all that shit. we don't care. But this weird little strap at the midfoot, it looks weird. But the overall shoe in this particular colorway, like I said, just looks really nice. Like, I don't I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks because it's like, oh, they kind of look like the 13s, obviously, which is a, a fan favorite of mine and many others. So maybe this colorway I might be interested in. But the only reason why that I would be interested in it is because because I would be like really kind of weirdly curious if they're playable on court. It doesn't look like there's a carbon fiber midfoot shank, which to me is not a big deal. I don't really care. Like TPU works just as well. So I think that that's fine. I'm very curious to know if there's tech in the shoe though. I wanna know if there is zoom air in the heel and forefoot. Maybe there's full length zoom air. Maybe it's only forefoot. Maybe it's heel air and forefoot zoom. Maybe there's nothing. I don't really know. I, I really want to know. And that's the main thing. Cause like the, the Tinker 3s were basically an Air Jordan 3 with a swoosh still on it like it wasn't really anything different these weird air jordan 6 tinkers honestly they just look like an air jordan 6 like i don't know what's what's different about those like i don't know like if if it's just a lost colorway that never released that's really dumb because as of right now that shoe doesn't look no different than a regular air jordan 6 so i don't know how that's a tinker thing but whatever but this one is really different like it's real jarring it's so far out of left field it's literally the rough draft of the air jordan 13 the one that didn't make it and it probably didn't make it for a reason because they look weird man but they look cool in this damn colorway i don't know what it is I'm super confused. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about. And then the thing that I thought was really interesting is that I was just kind of like browsing through weartesters.com and a lot of people had a lot of things to say about this shoe, which I thought was kind of cool because we don't normally get that type of reaction from retros nowadays. Cause it's like, yo, we've seen this already. You know what I'm saying? Like how many times have we seen the Air Jordan 13 release? The 14, the ones, the threes, the whatevers, the fours, fives, name, name a Jordan other than like some of the higher models. We've seen them release multiple times over the past like 20 years. But this is something that nobody's seen before or even though like it's a sketch that we've seen before. So I thought it was real interesting the interaction that commenters and readers had 
about this shoe. So let's take a look at a couple of them because I'm just like, I just, I love this stuff. Like I just like talking kicks. OG reader Bob from Hydra says, damn. Those are hot. And that's exactly what I'm saying. This colorway, man, this colorway tricks my mind because it's like, I know that these are weird looking. I know it's not the Air Jordan 13. I shouldn't even like these. They're the rough draft. Tinker didn't make these as the final Air Jordan for a dang reason. But this black and red colorway, boy, I'm telling you, man, them sh they pretty fire. Then Mr. P's knees, which I love that name, dude. Like, I don't know why, but every time I read that, it makes me laugh. But he says that he does like these. He thinks that the 13s are dope, but he actually likes these better. The 13s can come off a bit clunky, whereas these look sleek and more low profile, which he likes. And then he makes a joke saying that he can't wait for the super limited release so that he cannot get a pair. Which is fucking true, man. They need to stop with the, the limited bull. That's like a different discussion altogether. I actually talked about that in the Yeezy 350v2 butter video. So if you wanted to see me talk shit about about limited releases, go ahead and check that out. But anyways, Mr. P's Knees actually says that he's filling these more than the actual 13s. And I'm, I find that to be really kind of cool because it shows that everybody could like whatever they like. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to stick with OG. Like it's like some guys it's OG or nothing. And that's cool. Like I respect that. Me on the other hand, I like new things. You know what I mean? Like I like trying new stuff. Like if you hand me something and I've never seen it before, I'm instantly curious and I want to know more about it. And that's what this guy seems to feel like. Like he's like looking at him. He's like, yo, like the things that I don't quite like about the 13s, I like that they like slim them down in this original sketch. Like I said before, it looks like a trainer or a trunner, almost like a weird looking runner. It looks like something like if a football athlete was signed to Jordan brand at that time of the Air Jordan 13s, which there was, I think it was like Randy Moss. This looks like it could have been his on field shoe versus like the on court Air Jordan. So it's just real interesting that, that this is happening. And, and like I said, this one colorway is like really what kind of triggered this whole video because I normally wouldn't even like look at these things because they're weird looking. X Mod says, they look a little funky, but honestly, I love this move by JB slash Nike. It's a fun idea to bring to life original sketches from great designers. Could be a real solid encore option too. Would consider grabbing in another colorway. So that is something that's definitely up for debate, up for discussion, and I think that it should be a discussion that is discussed. What do you guys feel about Nike and Jordan brand like reaching back into the vault and bringing out stuff that was never supposed to kind of release? Like it was literally like scrapped stuff, you know what I mean? Because because this particular commenter seems to think that it's dope that they're like almost like paying homage to like yo like like it's like a deleted scene in a movie you know what I'm saying like they give it to you like as an extra bonus on a DVD or a blu-ray even though it wasn't really meant to be like in the movie or it didn't fit in the full movie but they want you to check it out anyways and that's kind of what this is like but then you have other guys where it's just like you know like Nike and Jordan brand are trash because they got no new ideas they're just recycling designs they're only retro now they don't do anything like purely for performance anymore like what they used to do and both sides are like 100% right. Now you could take little bits and pieces from each thing and like really like put them together and, and come up with like a solid just like this is kind of what we see these brands doing. But at the same time like he was saying it is a fun idea. It is cool to kind of look back at it. You don't have to buy it. That's the main thing. Like Jordan brand puts out tons of products. Most of the stuff you guys don't even know what it is or you don't even know it exists because you don't care. This particular shoe is with Tinker's name on it like a legendary designer. It was supposed to be the flagship Jordan, the Air Jordan 13, like a classic model among classics. And now they're presenting it to you and everybody's got their eyes on it. So that's like one of those things where it's just like, you know, like you don't have to buy it, but like, let's talk about it. And let's talk about it respectfully on top of that. Like we don't have to like be like angry nerds about shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be like cool nerds. Like let's talk about stuff. Now his last point, which is it could be a solid on, on court option. That's the thing that I'm really curious about. I really want to know what the damn tech is on this thing. The Air Jordan 3 Tinker, like, I mean, like I said, that's such an old shoe. It's from the 80s so either way the tech that like polyurethane midsole granted it's no different than a regular air jordan 3 that polyurethane midsole is going to be like a brick on court man like straight up this though this was 1998 like this was like a modern era shoe that's still relevant today as far as performance goes so i'm just super curious man i really want to know how these play i'm not trying to pay out the ass for them i don't want to like do anything as far as like chasing a limited drop but i'm definitely curious man i really want to like just try them out just to see what's up now one last comment because i know that this video is already pretty long but Raul says, these are funny looking and I think they are wrong, but I know how curiosity will get the better of me. I want to take these on court to see if this rough draft performs. The silhouette is kind of on the 14's shape. The strap looks like something they used on a trunner. I think the heel logo is what I like most on the shoe. Ugh, I might actually cop. Now whole thing, that whole curiosity, like killed the cat aspect, like that's me to a T, man. For whatever reason, I'm just super curious about shit. 
and I just have to like check it out. So I'm super interested. I, I agree completely with Raul that some part of me thinks that this is like completely wrong. But at the same time, it almost feels right. Like I don't know what to think. As a shoe fan, which there are very few of lately, it feels like there's more people in this for fame, notoriety, resale value, IG clicks and likes or hearts or whatever it is. Hype, you know what I'm saying? Like the, a lot of people are in this like space right now for the wrong reasons or for like weird selfish reasons. Nobody's in this for like genuine passion about footwear with the exception of a select few. I happen to be one of those few where I'm just like really, really, really passionate about footwear. I don't even know why. I think it's kind of weird, but I can't help it. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, it's, I'm just really curious, man. Like I got to try these dude. Like they look funky. I want to see if they got zoom air in them. I want to see if the traction works. So I want to see if these are just a little bit different. You know what I mean? And I'm just super curious and I would love to know what you guys all think about them too. So please leave your comments down below in the comment section. Like the video if you like the video. Go to weartesters.com. Leave your comments there as well. See what all the other commenters think. I only read a few. There's like 16 something comments in there of people like both loving and hating on the shoe for great reasons. It's fun to debate this stuff. We all are together based off of common interests. So be passionate together, but have fun at the same time and be respectful with one another. Like I said, we'd love to hear from you guys. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Are you feeling the Air Jordan 13 Tinker? Do you think that the Tinker series is a good thing? Do you think that it's a whack that Jordan brand is like, I don't know, like only looking in the past and not into the future? Like, what is it that you feel? Like, let us know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys once again. And until next time, have a good one.